It's hard to forget these images, even harder to imagine. It's been 14 years since police say Robert Fisher murdered his entire family and then set his Scottsdale home on fire to cover his tracks. Tonight, ABC 15's Elizabeth Irwin shows us the latest in this still very active investigation through the eyes of someone who's been digging into this case since the very beginning. Sergeant Hugh Lockerbie had only been with the Scottsdale Police Department three years when this call came in. So I remember going there as an officer. It was in my beat. A South Scottsdale home explosion. I was told head to this crime scene and, and help out with that. But what was found inside? Even more horrific. Mary Fisher shot in the back of the head. Brittany and Bobby Fisher's throats slashed from ear to ear. No one should um, die this way. And and for him to have done this, um, he needs to be brought to justice. Robert Fisher's car and the family dog were found near Payson. 14 years later, Lockerbie is still searching for Fisher. We have not been able to locate any sign or evidence of him. Lockerbie went from patrol officer to detective. Eventually um, took over the investigation. At this point, the sergeant knows Robert Fisher better than anybody. I've read this case, you know, multiple times inside and out. Um, too many to count. He believes Fisher is out there somewhere. Absolutely. Without a doubt, he's still alive. And that you can help find him. So he's going to probably have a low menial job. He's going to be uh, in an area where he can still do the hunting, the fishing. He's going to have assimilated himself into a community um, where he's not going to raise any red flags at all. Tonight, a message for the man he's dedicated his life to finding. If you commit a crime like this, um, Scottsdale Police will um, go to the end of the end of the lengths to to solve this, to bring you to justice, and to to know that you're not going to get away with this. So we will track you down, and um, we will eventually find you. In Scottsdale, Elizabeth Irwin, ABC 15 News.